this is a reading for Sagittarius for the fall of 2016. Your first card, number 48, wash away your burden. So there seems to be uh, some type of situation where you are paying attention to what is overcoming you. What, what, what are these burdens that are on your back and trying to get rid of them. So conscious effort to do that is what I feel in your immediate moment here. What it is crossed by is a new day dawn. This newness that wants to come upon you, but you're not quite accepting. I mean, you seem to be dealing with your burdens, but it's almost like there's a new day, there's a new way of, of uh, living that you need to kind of embrace, and that seems to be challenging you. You seem to be bucking a new way of thinking, a new way of living, and a new way of being. You're kind of in a grind where the universe, they don't want you in that, in that rut anymore. I mean, you've really, uh, you know, trailblazed, and I mean, you're on autopilot, and you can't do that. You're just kind of, you know, you're almost not existing. You're existing so well, you're not existing, if that makes any sense. You're going with that flow, but you're not learning anything, you're not getting anything, and you're not uh, enjoying life to the, the extent that you should be. You're really just kind of putting blinders on and just go uh, trudging. And they want you to open your blinders and, and be aware of what it is that you're going after here. So, a uh, new day dawns is kind of a challenge. So it's a challenge to accept a new way of thought, a new way of thinking, a new way of doing. So what floods the reading is number four, be without malice. So there is something along your path here that has really gotten your mind into uh, a place where you're just really in the negative. Really, thoughts of revenge, not even revenge as much as just uh, anger and resentment towards certain people, towards, you know, it could be towards society as a whole. You're really kind of just stocked up and walling yourself in a certain situation where you just don't want to look at this stuff anymore and it's all that malice that's sitting and brewing. So this is really what's flooding the whole reading here. So it's not a good grand thing to have looming over, but we'll see how this carries on. The, um, the spirit that's passing away from you is uh, number 45, uh, stay strong. Is 45 or 43? 45. Stay strong. So it's almost like you've had a challenge. Um, had some challenges, and I'm, I'm getting a sense you just shut off. You're not even shut off in malice, but you're shut off. And I think the malice comes to your mind as an option, and, and I think you're smart enough to know that that's not the way to go, but it's still looming up in there, and it's still brewing up in there, and, you know, down the road maybe you could lash it out a bit, but <laughs> you don't want to be doing that. So the, the strength is kind of passing away from you at this point. You're kind of giving in, giving up, and letting things go. It's like, yeah, I, I couldn't be bothered anymore. I, I'm done. It's enough. So in your near future, I get embrace the masculine. So with an attitude like that in the air, I'm thinking embrace the masculine is more like trying to not let it affect you in a way that it has, that it's gotten your tempers, it's gotten you fired up. But I mean, it's... These are, I mean, this is a fire sign, and I mean, you're fired up to the point of shut off. It's to the point where you feel like there's nothing that can be done, nothing that you can do, and nothing that nobody else can do. You're just done. And so, when we have that in your near future to embrace the masculine, it's kind of take that stand and say, you know what, we'll deal with it another day. We'll deal with it another day. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a way of being... Uh, with the masculine, I think that strength is what it's, um, in my mind, is visible for. You know, the strength and the patience and the perseverance and the tenacity and all of those things that make up the masculinity. I mean, they make up female, females as well and accompany these traits. But when I think of it, it's, that is the way I see. And it's, it's all of these things that you need to, when you come to adversity, you need to be strong, you need to be stoic in a way to say I'm not going to let it fire me up like it has. And that's sort of that, I think, dissipating some of that malice that you got going on. There's a lot of, a sense of a lot of stirring up in the, in the thoughts. A lot of negative thinking, sure. 
negative thoughts, yeah. Revenge thoughts, yeah. <laughs> Even to the point where some people are thinking, oh, what would it be like to just, you know, like bad things. <laughs> bad things that are to bad people, but it doesn't make it any less bad, you know. <laughs> but it's that fantasizing of things, doing bad things to bad people, and it's like, no, no, come on, you know. Everybody gets their own, in their own way, and I think that's what it is, is just lacking the faith that these people are going to get their own. You know, along the line, they will get their own. You just have to be patient and, and you know, with the masculine and kind of have that strength um, and perseverance to say, yeah, they will get their own and have faith in it as well. Not like, they'll get their own and then walk away. <laughs> It'll be like, no, they will get their own. I mean, they always do. It is a law, right? And that's the thing. You have to have faith in these universal laws. I'm not talking about laws that the government makes up. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about universal law. So I think that's really what it is, is these Sagittarians are finding that they're just... Nobody's taking anything into account anymore. What the hell are we doing? Everybody's going ape shit about everything and nobody's being accountable. That's really what I'm hearing. <laughs> so there's a lot of frustrations <laughs> in Sagittarians. So in their distant future, respect your boundaries. So, yeah, number 35. This is So I feel like you're going to kind of go into a strength of your own self. And then you're going to start... You know, really being aware of those boundaries and hopefully standing up for them. And I think Sagittarians are of the light. They will do that. They will come forth and they'll say, no, no, you don't do that. Uh-uh. I don't think so. And they will stand up for that. And then they'll walk away. They kind of do it with a little more fire than they should. But then, then is good for them. Not than they should, but then is good for them. So um, I see that absolutely coming down. I think they're really going to be... Um, a little bit anal about those boundaries coming up. <laughs> they're going to be saying, nope, 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 nope. And they're going to block it off. But it is all in just thought. I mean, they're doing it for a reason. And I feel like they have their own laws that they live by and that integrity that they, and they're like, absolutely not. I'm, I, you know, I'm putting my foot down. So that is uh, in the future. That is an unchangeable card as well. And even though... It, it may seem to those people around you, it may seem harsh and quite overblown. They really will be making the statement that they need to make unknowingly as powerful as they think. So meaning, in my weird way of saying it, uh, basically them, these Sagittarians taking their stand and refusing to back down is ultimately going to be part of the solution of, of why we, you know, why why do we need this malice? Well, because we're not standing up for our boundaries. So there, there's going to be an inadvertent uh, workings here that is going to, they're just going to um, precipitate a solution. They're really going to be bringing on the solution, and it's just going to kind of make sense afterwards. It's a natural flow that it's just that fire-driven, uh, this is what I believe in, and this is what I'm going to do, and I don't give a what you think that this I'm not doing it and that's it that kind of thing is taking that stand and not backing down that's really what I get here because they've just had so much up to now and even though they can seem like they're kind of um, lackadaisical and really off you know what do you call that happy-go-lucky when you corner them man they're they're gonna stand up for what they believe in so they, they have a softer edge but when it comes down to business, bug out. So anyway, as we carry on, it says love that you are different. So that's really, um, even though you have that hard malice side of you that really doesn't believe in anything and has is pessimistic, really, is what it is, that pessimistic side, you, you do know that you're different and you do have a lighter side to you and you do like to take the time to enjoy things and to 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 be amongst the frivolous and the <laughs> you know and the and the lighter side of things so you there are opportunities for you to do that and you do indulge in them when they come to you um the next card is observe in silence so there is a little bit of um it's interesting we got two animals here just looking dead on with their eyes um 
observe in silence. So there is going to be a point where you're, <clears throat> and I feel like it's going to be out of active watching of these people that you've set these boundaries up. You're going to watch and see how do they react. Are they going to come back again and try it again? Are you going to do that? I don't think so. Because they're going to be there and they're going to be watching and just waiting. And I have a, I have a feeling that, I mean, not only have they learned, uh, I mean, I think these Sagittarians can be quick learners, depending on the, the crew, right, within the, um, maybe not so much when they're young, when they're older, you know, and, and more steadfast in their, their own right, they're, they're coming into their own and they're like, that is it, I just will not back down. So a lot of that observant silence is going to be watching these people that they've put the boundaries up to to see if they will actually hold their hold their own and not only that if things will change because of it you know are you going to change because I did that and and they may be surprised to see that that things will um, the next card here is seek the lesson so there's obviously um, I feel like even though these Sagittarians are really coming across as boisterous and um, to the outside people, which, by the way, they deserve. I feel like these people that they're putting up a boundary for, they deserve it. So yeah, a lot of these uh, Sagittarians are going to be seeking the lesson. I mean, they're going to be looking and seeing whether these people that they've set these boundaries up with, whether they're going to learn anything here. Whether they're get, whether is are they going to get this? Is this going to get through to them? Are they going to make changes, or am I going to have to beat some heads in? <laughs> really the sense of what um, I feel is going on in these Sagittarians minds you know do we have to start splitting heads here um, a lot of frustration that's built up over a lot of time and absolutely valid it's not invalid it's not insane it's not they're not out of whack these people have trudged too far too long over the boundaries here and it's just time it's just time so I, in a sense I get these Sagittarians have been a little too patient and too accepting of these things that have come across the path. So now, uh, I mean, and I think they've got the backing of everybody around to say, yeah, nope, that's enough. <laughs> I think they were the last to get on board and say, you know, screw that. Let's, you know, that's, that's not working. So what is in the, the end result card is seek your destiny. So it's almost like you may be... Uh, finding strength at this point to really understand where it is you truly want to go and want to be. And it may be through these con conflicts that you've been finding out on your own. You know what I mean? Like you've been learning about yourself where it is you want to go, what you want to be. Because you don't want to be these idiots. You want to be over here, you know, like that kind of thing. I hate to be judgmental but like that, but that's really the way I'm getting it. Is like, these guys are idiots and I'm not putting up with it no more. So there's a lot of frustration, and in the meantime, you really see clearly, more clearly, where you want to be in and amongst all of these people. And maybe it's just that whole crowd that you're with that just ain't working, and it never will work. So maybe you need to, you know, reroute there in that sense of the word. So a lot of anger, frustration, resentment that's built up, but I feel like it's valid. I really do. I feel like these boundaries, even though these people are used to get they're like yes men they're used to getting these answers no more they're not getting it from these Sagittarians anyway they're not gonna put up with it and they're not gonna say yes anymore there's no way and I don't know that they have all along but throughout there's been a, a trotting on you know they'll say yes once and then no three times you know and then yes once and it's you know and and, and then they just manipulate so it, it's it's yeah it's People that have been getting away with stuff for too long and it's finally going to come to a head and it really helps these Sagittarians see their lives in a different light because of all this crap going on. Then after that, they go, oh, well, there you go. And then and then they actually sit back and they go, hey, you know, yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't feel, I don't no longer feel like I want to be amongst these people anymore. Like, why do I want to do this? It's garbage. I don't have to do it here. I can go over there or I can do something different or whatever it is. Whatever it may be, like a change of direction or perspective. Or even just that enlightenment, that step that they need to take. I pulled a animal card and I got a kiwi. <laughs> and it says, do a walking meditation each day for the next week. 
And though I see Sagittarians as outdoorsy type, I don't see them as meditative types. <laughs> but uh, just walking outdoors by yourself in your thoughts, which are not with malice. And I think closer to Christmas, you're going to have a little bit of a relief from this frustration because you're going to start seeing results. Results that you've wanted to see all along. And it's like, yep, yeah, well, there it is, you know. Um, but really being fired up and just not being able to come down. But I think closer to Christmas, you'll have to maybe actively work on <laughs> tuning that out, uh, calming it down, you know, actively work on that within your own right and try and cool your jets a little bit. Because you just, I mean, sparks flying and not necessarily in a good way. And you can get into trouble that way with the, the thought patterns that are going on. So hopefully that, um, I think the path is pretty much laid out for these Sagittarians. I mean, like I said, I feel like they've kind of really been trotted on for so long. that they, I mean, they've shut their mouths so long it's just bleeding from biting their tongue, you know. <laughs> just did that enough. And I think they're the last ones to put their foot down. And when they do, they just do not lift it. They do not lift it for no one. And they are going to see results because of it. Why? Because they were the last ones. And then next, because they just will not cave this time. It's almost like there have been little episodes here and there that gave these people the inclination that they could do it again. But they just it will be no more. They're just absolutely no more. Had enough. That's it. And it may be even, you know, having to do with friendships, uh, eliminating friendships or, um, you know, I kind of almost sense it as an employee uh, situation, you know, office politics type thing. But uh, at the same time, it could absolutely mean, uh, you know, the end of a friendship because boundaries can't be held up. I guess it depends on the other person whether they can absolutely keep those boundaries in. If they can't this Sagittarian ain't going to back down. He's just steadfast. And I'm saying he, but I mean he, she, uh, they are going to stand their ground and they're not giving in for nothing. So, very <laughs> stick in the mud type, but I get the sense that it's, you know, it's a long time coming. So, it's, it's, it's valid. It may come off as being kind of crazy, but it's valid. Uh, you know, there's reasons some people flip out. I mean, not a lot of times they, they're going nuts and they don't know why. There's usually reasons why. It's just everybody keeps mum about it, you know? So it's kind of like this. <laughs> kind of like the going postal thing. A <laughs> little bit of that going on in the brain to the point where we're going to control, control our physical self. But uh, I think overall they're going to get through it and they're going to learn more about themselves through it. More that that they never knew that they would. You know, an outlook that they're holding about themselves will come forward that they never knew that it, it really could at all. So that is good in itself. You know, that's good. And these other people, well, they just need to go away. <laughs> or you need to veer away. I don't, I don't see them really separating, but I see them definitely cutting the ties there. I don't see them being as close or uh, as close knit or as close um, intertwined with these people whether it's office workers or friends and if it's friends it's kind of friends of friends and it's just too much crap and so it's that type of situation I'm not getting a sense really of relationships at all in here other than you know maybe it is a relationship you know that they just get trod upon trod upon and they just had enough so it's time to go or whatever it's time to create the boundaries for sure so Boundary setting Sagittarians are on their way to Christmas with a new site for their destiny. And hopefully that is clear in thought and mind of malice and all of that. So that is the fall reading for the Sagittarians for 2016. Take care and have fun and be kind.